Do 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 do. Who wants to know the core reason that the bureaucrats and politicians will never admit as to why they don't want to give another stimulus check to the people who need it? It's quite simply because the last one, people went and bought guns. They went and bought guns because there was a big fucking shenanigan going on where they snuck it into one of their proposals that they were going to increase taxes by nearly 200% on ammo, on guns, on everything. Quadruple taxing you. So that's, that's the thing they manufactured themselves to give themselves the excuse, not reason. An excuse is not viable as a reason. A reason is something that's solid. An excuse is more like, I don't want to do it. Here, fuck off. That's what an excuse is. So they gave themselves that excuse. And if it ever comes down to actually saying anything, well, they've already put up statistics for people buying more guns. Just so that they can say, we don't want to give people money to buy guns with. Well, here's the thing. Why don't they want you to defend your own life? Why don't they want you to exercise that unalienable right to your own life? Why the fuck don't they want people protecting themselves? Like that couple whose gate, fucking solid cast iron gate, was broken through by rioters. And they were standing there defending themselves. That trial's still going on, isn't it? They don't want you to defend yourself. They don't want you to exercise your rights and freedoms. That's the only viable conclusion that you can draw from all of the events that have preceded what's going on now. And if you think anything other than they don't want you to be free, if you honestly think and believe that, wow, you're living in apathetic delusional psychosis. They start the, the Black Lives Matter bullshit. They incite all these riots through their broken policies and bullshit that they know will antagonize people because psychology. There's no excuse for them. There really isn't. There's no reason for them. There really isn't. It's just another bit of their confusopoly to keep you distracted because their their black market shadow banking system collapsed. And now they're trying to do in the real stock market what they did with their shadow market. Blow bubbles, pop them, get money off of it and then do the same thing all over again. How many bubbles have been blown on that stock market in the last six months compared to the last six years before this viral outbreak, before 2019, in the last six years before that? How many bubbles? Now in the last six months, how many stock market bubbles have been blown? They're doing the same thing that they used to do on their private black market system. Now they're just doing it out in front of everybody. Because their private system collapsed. Because they're incompetent. And because, well, one person said, okay, fuck you, I'm gonna stop your shit right here. And went in and hacked their private system and destroyed it.
you might say it sucks knowing all the insider information about these general points of interest. But then again, who the fuck's going to believe the truth even when it gets to them? You've all been lied to through corporate boilerplate disclaimer bullshit, mass media hypnosis for so fucking long. Who the fuck's going to believe the truth, huh? And what's more, when these bureaucrats and politicians and fuckboys stop being bitches... Who the fuck's going to give them a second chance? Because they're not going to get another opportunity. Nobody's going to hand them control and say, go for it. No. People are most likely going to pull out their guns and say, fuck you. We don't want you here. You're a parasite. But it takes time for the mindless masses to wake the fuck up. So this video at this particular point in time might seem superfluously irrelevant later on after what I'm telling you has come through done been here and gone you might look back at this video and say holy shit he was right So, reserve your comments, your likes and your dislikes, unless you've already seen all the information relative to the situation. And it's not just politics, it's not just statistics, it's not just official reports, it's not just the news, it's not just psychology. It's so much more than that. If you study broad enough and diverse field, multiple fields of study and how they interact with each other, you can begin to see through the application of chaos theory to the situation at hand how all of the cogs and gears below the surface are working. Because a clock face is just a face with numbers on it. And if you don't know how mechanical properties are and how the cogs and springs behind it work then you have no knowledge to go on there's more than just what you see at the surface and if you're taking the official reports at the surface as your source of information and all you know is what fucking time it is. You don't know how it works. And right now, you need to know how the clock works. Because it's ticking down to zero. Hope that analogy helps with uh, the idiot's way of visualizing reality. Till next time.